Are you looking for a way to make your .NET MAUI applications a little bit more interactive? Well, you can add gesture support into any control that's out there, and it just takes a few lines of code. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, here I am inside of Visual Studio, and I have a blank content page in my .NET MAUI application. Now let's add an element. Now this could be any element, so a label, an image. In this case, I'm gonna add a box view in here, which is just a box. And I'll give it a background color of pink. And let me just go ahead and make the width and height, let's say 300, for example, and I'm gonna center it on the screen. So there we go, just vertical center, and let's close it off. Now, if I just run this application, it's going to be a pink box in the middle of the screen with no interaction at all. So this is very similar to any elements that aren't like buttons, for example, or list views or collection views that don't have built in interaction. These are just elements on the screen. So here it is just sitting there. Now, let's add some interaction to it. So inside my box view, I can start to add additional properties and fill them in for gestures. Now, I can access them by not closing off my box view, but instead opening it up. And then I can say box view dot. And that's gonna give me all the properties as sort of an extended way of accessing those properties or things such as lists of different uh, elements for those properties, such as gesture recognizer. It's gonna be a list of gestures that are here. So when I open that up, and I add another element, I can say GE for gesture, and it's going to show me all of the built in gesture recognizers like child, click, drag, drop, pan, pinch, pointer, there's tap as well that's going on here. So let's add a swipe gesture recognizer. And you can add a bunch of these different gesture recognizers. And I'm going to say direction and I'll say down. And then I'm going to say swiped and add a new event. All right. So now what I can do is come to my code behind and we can see there is an event that will get triggered automatically. Now, if you're doing MVVM and data binding, don't worry, all of these different ones have commands and command parameters built in too. So you can pass that into your view model uh, with your data binding. But I'm just gonna do it in the code behind here. And the first thing I wanna do is say var box, and I'm just gonna cast that uh, sender that's coming in as a box view, just cause I know it's there. I'll let Copilot handle this for me, and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is colors dot. There we go. So if it swipes left, right, up, or down, it'll change the color of that box, that background color, automatically for me. Awesome. It's really just that easy. So now what I'm going to do is add a breakpoint and debug it again. Now, remember that I've only implemented one swipe uh, inside of here, which is down. So ideally, when I swipe down, it'll change to yellow. But if I swipe in other directions, nothing will happen. So here we go. I'm going to swipe up, nothing, swipe down, and I get my breakpoint. And sure enough, now it's yellow right there. OK, cool. Let's go ahead and add the other gesture recognizers, because remember, this is a list of gesture recognizers. So all I need to do is copy and paste that down. I'll say up, and then I will say left, and then I will say right. Now, in this instance, I'm having them call the same exact event. I could implement different events if I wanted to, if I had different logic for the up, down, left, right. So now I'm going to go ahead and run the application again. And in this instance, now when I swipe up, sure enough, I get a breakpoint. Let me just continue on. And I have green, down, left, right. And now I've added this interaction directly into my application. And you can add all sorts of different gesture recognizers too inside this list. So if I wanted to, for example, I could add a tap gesture recognizer. There's also pointer ones. So you can interact a lot more, pan or pinch. And I'll just say tapped and add a new event handler. You can control how many times the tap needs to be uh, executed for it to, to trigger. But let's just go ahead and have it default to one. And I'll just say await and display alert that you've tapped the box. Perfect. So now alongside my swipe gesture recognizers are my tap gesture recognizer sitting here as well. And this is very nifty in a lot of different scenarios, such as different elements on the screen, but also for labels too. So sure enough, there is our alert that has been set up for us automatically. Now, I do want to point out that you can, of course, if you have any element and you're creating in the code behind, 
you could also say, you know, gesture recognizers. And sure enough, you can go ahead and add one inside of here. So it's an eye collection of eye gesture recognizer. And you can create all of those in the code behind as well. But it really is just that simple to create different gesture recognizers and add them into your .NET Maui applications to add unique functionality and make your apps even more interactive. All right, there you have it. It's just that easy to get started adding gestures to your Down and Maui applications. I'll link to documentation and to the source code so you can check it out for yourself and play around with all those different gestures and test them on your device or on your machine. All right, if you have any questions at all, leave them below in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding that notification bell so you get updated every time we put out a new video right here on the .NET YouTube. Thanks for watching. <laughs>